Hey everyone, welcome back to Adobe Live here on Behance. I'm with Percy Chen. Hi guys, thanks hello. for joining us. Yes, if you're awake right now, hello to all of our friends in the US. You're probably sleeping, so hello from the replay. Yeah, but I think all of my friends are sleeping too. Oh, yeah. Great friends, <laughs> yeah. they'll watch the replay. Hello friends. Uh, we are in Barcelona, Spain at OFF right now, which is an awesome conference, so beautiful. Got great coffee here too. Very colorful and yes. upbeat. Yeah, mm. feel feel the good vibes. So like I said, I'm here with Percy, and maybe you can introduce yourself in case people have never met you before. Yeah, sure. Hi, guys. I'm Percy Chen. I'm a freelance illustrator and character designer living in Hamburg, Germany. Mm -hmm. And I have a background in game design. I used to study game design in Berlin. That's so cool. Yeah, because I grew up with video games. I love playing video yes. games. Yes, we'll have some um, things to talk about. <laughs> right. And then... Um, I don't know which part of the brain is responsible for the mathematics, um, but that part wasn't developing <laughs> fast enough. Me neither, enough. friends. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then I've kind of failed those programming exams and I completely oh. switched to illustration. Gotcha. Now I'm in Hamburg studying illustration and doing freelance work on the side. Very cool. So you're studying right now. Yeah, I'm still <gasps> studying Wow, right now. that's so cool. <laughs> So successful for students. That's amazing. Yeah, I kind of don't like to mention that I'm a student because people tend to underestimate students. Right. Perhaps. Don't underestimate Percy. <laughs> He's not just a student. What's up, Yuri? We've got Yuri and Dez and Matthias in the chat. Fabian. Hi, hello, everyone. hello. Hi, thanks Hi. for joining us. Really appreciate it. This is the first stream of the day, and we have another full day of different speakers and awesome creatives and designers here hanging out with us. So, Percy, let's look at your portfolio a little bit yeah, and maybe let's. talk about some of your work. Right. What would you like to talk so about? As you can see, my style kind of changes from mm -hmm. each piece to piece. True. Yeah, I, I like both um, the more traditional painting uh -huh. style yeah. and also the very digital one where you can definitely see it's digital. Right. And those ones are usually um, faster to for me to create mm -hmm. as... Um, so yeah, in go ahead. contrast, um, let's take this first one. Yeah. Um, a lot of people ask me if it's done by uh, watercolor, ah. <laughs> which I find very fun. Um, I, I can see that. Incorporated some elements. Uh, they can see the mouse, can they? Oh no. yeah, they, or, yeah, they can. Okay, mm -hmm. like um, the flowers right here, the texture right here. Right. And how I did it is, um, we have to paint traditionally in our in classes in school. Right. And um, I just recycle those paintings. Uh, I'll Very show smart. you later how I do that. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, then I put it over what I've done digital. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it has um, yeah, those textures, those uh, random textures that... Yeah, that you can only get yeah. kind of traditionally. Right, right. Although there are some very good Photoshop mm -hmm. brushes that true, will kind of mimic it. We yeah. have Kyle Webster here at mm -hmm. the conference. He is the master of brushes. <laughs> cool. And what's the story with this Oh, the image? inspiration actually comes from um, a picture, a photograph mm -hmm. I've seen on Pinterest. Uh, I'm on Pinterest all day looking through imagery. Me too. I've seen every image <laughs> on Pinterest, right. I feel like. It's uh, a pond in Japan called Monet's Pond. Mm. That's why the color mine um, be Monet as. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a really beautiful pond with uh, vibrant colors and yeah. fish that live inside. Cool. So and what about the, the figures? Do you figures? just threw them in there because they're pretty <laughs> to look at? Um, I kind of felt um, like to contrast the happy colors with mm -hmm. a more serious, in quotation mark, imagery. Yeah, yeah. so serious. Yeah, it's not very serious, but I liked um, to mix different emotion in my pieces. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> That's beautiful. My eye is definitely drawn to this piece, first yeah, and foremost. That was a personal illustration. Yeah. Maybe you can go, uh, if you click on Instagram 2017, oh, yeah. that uh, were some of my illustrations done for Instagram last year. Cool. And um, yeah, you might wonder why do they look completely different. Than they are so different. <laughs> the last illustration we've just seen. Um, yeah, that's because I try with different styles. I go out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. from time to time and so last year I just randomly uh, made a vector illustration yeah. <laughs> just for fun and they kind of like it and then contact me and ask me to do something for Pride Week in Yeah, Hamburg. that's and amazing. That's a huge uh, print and Whoa. we took photos in front of it. Um, if Let's you can yeah. click the next 
I think it just click on it. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> there the, he is. That's uh, the Instagram team in Hamburg. So cool. Wow. So they just saw this on Instagram and they contacted you? Yeah, right. Just like I that? Was, I, I thought it was, this must be a scam, yes, mate, right? Delete. It's not <laughs> no. real. <laughs> Deleted. Yeah. Sorry, Instagram. No, no I'm glad you didn't. Yeah. I like this guy. He looks sad. <laughs> It's uh, raining. He's actually very <laughs> uplifting. <laughs> very yeah. nice. And so what was this for? This was for another event they had mm -hmm. in, uh, I think, November mm -hmm. called Winter Wonderland. Gotcha. It was in Berlin and some of the local um, startup uh, companies were invited to show their products. Mm -hmm. And I did this um, Christmas calendar. Yeah. So usually behind each door there's chocolate, but not in this case. They had um, like the floor plan and what companies are represented oh, I in see. the event. Cool. Yeah. I love that little advent calendar. Right. Sweet. And that's another postcard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. It's kind of pixelated. I don't <laughs> know. But <laughs> yeah, it's a postcard. Yeah, nice. So when I saw this mm. on your <laughs> profile, I thought mm. this was like linking to your Instagram, but only from 2017. <laughs> like, that would be quite strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but okay, now yeah. I get it. Right. Cool. And then I see that you have just a character design. Yeah, I love to create too. character designs. Oh. Yeah, as Lovely. I mentioned earlier, I'm a huge nerd. Uh, I love playing video games, but yeah. Yeah, nowadays I didn't get the time to. I know. So I just created a character. It's hard being an adult. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, so are these all for a specific story you have in mind? Um, these uh, f six, mm -hmm. uh, these first six character groups are uh, for a um, magazine called Character Design Quarterly. Mm -hmm. uh, they wanted to feature some of my character designs. Well, I could use some of my older designs, but I wanted to do something new and do yeah. a whole set. Mm -hmm. This is so amazing. Mm -hmm. I think this is my favorite stuff I've seen on your Thank you. work so Thank far. You. Yeah, love it. And then these are a little bit different. Yeah, these are a little bit older. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I get inspired by a lot of things like fashion or mm -hmm. even armor, like the traditional oh, yeah. Asian ones. Mm -hmm. And then just imagine what uh, video game characters I can create out of yeah. those references. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. They all look very mm -hmm. different. Like they mm -hmm. have their own. Yeah, I like to make the shapes different. Mm -hmm. So within a group, it's always more interesting yeah. if they have variations. Right, and look at these little guys. These are not vector, right? No, no, it's just fake vectors done yeah, in Photoshop. Yeah, fake vectors. Fake I vectors. love that. It's like yeah. vector, but a little bit wonky. <laughs> right. So cool. Oh, a little merman. Yeah, it was done um, in May. Oh, for year, mermaid. M mermaid. Yeah. Very nice. This is amazing. Thank you. So a lot of people are asking, I see, like, do oh. you use Procreate? What kind of tools do you use? Yeah, I use Procreate and Photoshop. Mm -hmm. So most of the time I just on um, my iPad yeah. because it's more convenient and I love Super drawing convenient. directly on the screen. Mm -hmm. but Look at this little guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want one of those. But one yeah. of these little marshmallow yeah. dogs. <laughs> those Pomeranians. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so you like the iPad because you yeah. can do it on the go. Yeah, but sometimes I need a little bit extra more, then mm -hmm. I switch to Photoshop for those extra yeah. features. Cross-platform. I love yeah, that's it. That's me, <laughs> walking in the rain. You're like, I hate this, yeah, I hate but this I look totally. fabulous. <laughs> yeah, so chat, if you have any questions for Percy, please feel free to ask. We are watching you all say hello. We've got Tori from Sweden. Let's hello. see. Where's everyone else from? We'd love to know. Like I said, we're in Barcelona right now. We're usually in San Francisco. Percy's in Germany. Yeah, Hamburg, Germany. We got Rob Zilla <laughs> over there, over in DC, but he's actually literally right there. <laughs> so let us know where you're all from. We'd love to say hello. Cool, so do you want to talk about any more of your projects or do you want to get started drawing? Um, maybe I can show one Please. more example. Please, take of the reins. <laughs> where my inspiration comes from, like this one. I was sitting on the train and Maybe you as an illustrator also experience um, mm -hmm. you like to draw people, but you don't want to be seen yes. or spotted by people. Were you drawing. watching him in the reflection? Right. <laughs> and I think that was kind of fun. I wanted to capture the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> when I saw this illustration, I'm like, that literally looks like Percy, what he's wearing yeah. today. That's him. <laughs> yeah, that's me. So Being cool. a creep. Yes. Creeping through the window. But you have to <laughs> as an artist. Like mm -hmm. you can't just like be staring at people. Yeah, it's a great exercise because you have to be very quick because mm -hmm. they're always moving and yeah. get out of the train. Right, and even mm -hmm. this, like you're looking in a reflection at, and it's backwards. Mm -hmm. So cool. So did it turn out well, your drawing? Well, 
Yeah, yeah. I, I can say yes, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not going to show the painting okay. or drawing. Cool. Yeah. And he didn't catch you, right? No, he didn't. Okay. Great. Cool. I love that. You're right. The styles are very different mm -hmm. in each of these pieces. Yeah. All right. Let's see. We've got people from Manchester, England. Hi, Gary. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Matthias says, maybe Percy will draw Gus Bot 2000. So remember Gus, who you met earlier? Yeah. Did he wrote this? No, he's <laughs> okay. the one who uh, is behind Adobe Live. Yeah. So oh. Gus Bot, we call him that because he's a robot. Yeah, he has to be here for me to draw him. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Gus, where are you? Come on out. <laughs> cool. So, oh, and uh, JDGC Designs is from London. And Nadir is from an Amsterdam. Italian in London. Love your works. Yuri is an Instagram. I almost said Yuri is an Instagram. <laughs> Yuri is in Amsterdam. <laughs> Simon's in Brussels. So cool, everyone. Thanks for being here. Awesome. So we can maybe pop over to your iPad and get right. started work. And then in about 30 minutes, we're going to do a portfolio review. So stick around for that as well. OK, everybody see my screen? Yes, we can see Great. it. I'm going to move this over here so we can see live cool. action while you work. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I have a sketch lying around um, since Mother's Day because uh, the idea didn't turn out to be quite well. Yeah. Oh, just but this little thing, just lying yeah, around. Yeah, just lying around. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, my mother didn't get a painting from Sorry, me. Sorry, Mom. Sorry. Next year. <laughs> but I'm going to be uh, recycled and maybe bring it back to life. Okay, cool. So as you can see, my sketches are always a mess. I love it. So <laughs> squiggly. Can you recognize anything? Yeah, yeah. totally. Really? It looks like um, Munka or Alphonse oh. Munka. Yeah, because yep. of all these decorated elements, right? So, yeah, right. Um, <laughs> well, after I'm not really finished, but after I have the rough sketch, yeah. I don't like to go into detail and make a really beautiful sketch because I can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> I just gonna stay get with um, the messy sketch I have. Mm -hmm. After that, I create layers underneath the sketch mm -hmm. and turn the opacity of the sketch a little bit down. Gotcha. And you're using Photoshop Sketch? Yeah, it's Photoshop Sketch. Totally. And yeah, in Photoshop Sketch, you can import your Photoshop brushes, which mm -hmm. I really like. Oh, yeah. And these are some I like using on Photoshop. Gotcha. Yeah. What are your favorite kinds of brushes? Textural, more round? Um, I like both. Yeah? Depends. For now, I'm using one that's, that has no texture yep. at all. Um, what I'm doing right now is uh, I can see the sketch and what kind of interesting shapes it can oh, um, yeah. have. Mm -hmm. So like this is the mother. I just create a shape of the mother first. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's so intuitive. I love it. Yeah, I love drawing on screen. Cool. Well, you can do that with Cintiq, but it's not very mobile. Yeah, that's true. They tried to make mobile <laughs> Cintiqs, but... I've tried those. They're not really good. Yeah, they're still kind of like monsters. Yeah. They're still pretty heavy. Got lots of cords. Cool. So Yuri's after I've done a silhouette, oh, yeah. uh, I move on to the next element, like the child she's holding. Mm -hmm. And for that, I create another new layer, but uh -huh. go with a different shade. Gotcha. Keep them separate. Yeah, I keep them separate. Nice. Yuri says that she loves this sketch. Thanks, Yuri. Yeah, thanks, Yuri. So you like to keep all of your elements on different layers. Yeah, because I can um, go in separately later mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. add colors and textures so totally. it doesn't mesh. Yeah, that's. I need to do that or else my work will just look like a puddle. Everything is the same. Right. That's a baby. It doesn't have to be perfect right now, at yeah. least for me. Right. And all these background elements uh, I create by uh, adding another layer, but uh -huh. underneath those two okay. I've already created. Yep. And I like to go from darkest to lightest. Like um, if it's really close or more close to the viewer, it's going to be darker. And gotcha. as I go more back, I tend to use lighter colors. Oh, interesting. I like that. You could go the other way, like yeah. darkest in the back, lightest True. in the front. But I think this is more dynamic, a little more emotional. It's all very rough at the stage. <laughs> I just which is okay. Yeah, 
I like to get the composition right before mm -hmm. I go really into detail. Yeah. We got Rufus and Gus Bot watching us. Hi, Rufus. What's up? <laughs> Uh, Grand Freud says, if only I knew how to draw or sketch like this. So talented. Get Adobe Sketch. Yeah, <laughs> just download it. It's free. That's one really important thing. Totally free to download. Uh, you can get it on your Android devices, your Apple devices, iPads, phones. So, um, this is a very great feature I like. Um, when you go into the layer options, mm -hmm. it says paint inside. That's one of my key features. Me I, too. I love it. I can yes. live without it. Um, and what it's doing, it locks the opacity, meaning um, if I lock it, uh, let me just give you an example. I go into the red and color in the child. It just stays within Only the silhouette. There, yeah. That's why I've created silhouette in the first place. Mm -hmm. And if I untick it, it's going everywhere. Yes. I don't want that. No, we do no. not want <laughs> no, that. I don't want that. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is a really great yeah. way to keep things separate mm -hmm. and clean. Right. So at this stage, I would go into the color straight away. Mm -hmm. So let's just do that. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if I have the time to show something in Adobe Capture CC. I'm just going for it because it's a really cool feature. Please do it. I love Capture. One of the best. Uh, recently, um, if you're like me and you're struggling with... Um, Cool harmonic, uh, harmonious, yeah. harmon harmonious, harmonious, harmonious uh -huh. color palettes. Yeah. Uh, you can just pick a photograph you like. So uh, I'm going to. So these are random photos I've taken, mm -hmm. and I kind of like the photos within Love the photograph. Love that. Yes. It, and look how it automatically automatically picks out this yellow color mm -hmm. I didn't even see before. Right, but it's like we need a pop of color. Yeah, there it is. And just take on um, save and I got it within the library it automatically updates right so now you should have access to it yeah. once it refreshes so a little bit it's yeah. right there perfect yeah so you can do this with photos mm -hmm. you can even take a photo live and you can watch the bubbles mm -hmm. kind of pick different colors mm -hmm. it's very cool also a free app if you want to go check it out definitely should you can do colors you can make vector uh, shapes you can make your own brushes to use in sketch which is very cool right. very <laughs> handy yeah so, as you can see i'm going into each layer and giving it rough colors uh-huh so now you're using a brush with texture yeah right. oh another brush i really like it's um this color changing one. Mm -hmm. I made it in Photoshop. It's you really made freaky. This? Yeah, it's it's very easy. Yeah. Because each brush is um, just a circle basically, um, put behind mm -hmm. one another and yeah. I just space out um, the interval. Yeah, right. And change the color dynamic to um, maybe a certain color. Yeah, yeah. You can go really crazy and make it change it to rainbow colors, yeah, but for this right. one I just stayed in Roughly the mm -hmm. same hue, mm -hmm. and what this does is gives me color variations without going in and picking and do a lot of, yeah, just right. color picking. Yeah, yeah. So you have your colors right there. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Uh, Emma, is the sketch on the iPad? Yes. Yeah, it's he's the using big an one. iPad Pro, uh, but it works on lots of Apple devices. You can get it on your phone mm -hmm. too if you'd like to. Yeah, Yuri, no need to mask things like in Photoshop. You can just click paint inside mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Whoa, things are getting freaky. I love it. Oh. Yeah, sometimes I um, just develop the idea why I'm doing it. Yeah. So I don't really have a set vision in mind when I start my mm -hmm. illustrations. It seems like you just work from your emotions. You're just kind of letting yeah. yourself free. <laughs> it's not very constricted. Love You're it. right. So this is almost like the underpainting mm -hmm. of the finished piece. Wow. In chat, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask, because you have Percy here as a captive 
He has to answer your questions. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best way for people to find you on like social media or um, the internet? I'm on Instagram the most, mm -hmm. and I update it more frequently than Tumblr or Twitter. Gotcha. And my website uh, is percychen.com, and on the website you can find links to all of my social media. Great. And then your Instagram is just Percy Chen, right? Yeah, just Percy Chen. At Percy Chen. I just posted a story, so you can just click on it in my story if you'd like to. <laughs> yeah, Matthias, thanks for posting the link. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yuri says that sh until she can get an iPad, she still has to struggle with masking. <laughs> but until then, after that, you'll be a master. Actually, you can... Um, it's the same in Photoshop, I believe. Yeah, you, you can just, just uh, lock the pixels yeah. or lock the opacity. The opacity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder if there's Photoshop on this computer. Okay, I'm going to show you one of my favorite tricks. It kind of feels like cheating. So um, what I mentioned earlier is I like to include traditional paintings into my works. And, for, and how I do this is by um, creating an new layer with an image this time and I um, put a painting I've done traditionally over everything I've created wow. so far and then I play with the different blending modes oh. and it gives it really cool textures to work Beautiful. with. Beautiful. Yeah. You see, I got these, the little all these textures, right? <laughs> so after that, I just go in and really work out the details. I do an example of the mother's face. I'm excited to see you work out the details. Let's see how this happens. Uh, this is the part that takes the longest. I sometimes sit maybe like eight hours until uh -huh. the painting is done. Right. But the, the first part is so quick. Yeah. And it's, then you really it's the um, best part to watch because everything happens so quickly. Right. But after that, it's kind of tedious and uh, very slow. <laughs> Albie says this matches your T-shirt. Oh. It's true. The colors do <laughs> match pretty well. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> you <Right>. just like them. <laughs> That's awesome. And maybe super quickly, we can look back at my screen. Yeah. Um, maybe they'll switch it over. So Yuri, instead of masking, I know this is like, I'm totally an illustrator. Don't <laughs> forget. Um, I have these hearts drawn just on a layer. And if I go down here to this lock and it's lock transparent pixels, click that. And if I paint, it's just going to paint within the pixel. So it's like paint inside. And then if I were to unlock it and paint, you can paint it everywhere. So that should help cut down the time of you having to mask everything. And if you already knew that, sorry. Mm -hmm. If you didn't, it's a great tip. It changed my life. OK, back to your computer. <laughs> Hello, Nayan. How you doing? Thanks for joining. So as you can see, I'm really just picking colors and working it out just by going with the flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we can pop back to Percy's iPad on the big screen. Perfect, thanks. No prob, Yuri. Monica says this is very interesting. Thanks, Monica. Thanks for teaching us. And you were teaching people yesterday, right? During yeah. your workshop? 30 minutes workshop. Nice. That's only 30 minutes. You had yeah, to work fast. Really, I had to um, just teach the basics. And everybody's so talented here. I didn't have to teach them all that much. They just didn't need me that much at all. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, OK, Percy, yeah. sit down. <laughs> we got this. Nayan also loves the colors. I think color is really strong in your work. I would have to agree. But as you seen just now, I uh, kind of cheated by cr creating a layer. Cheated. <laughs> cheated um, by using a painting I've already done and yeah. put it on overlay. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing. If it's like your painting that you've already done, it's not cheating. 
if you're using someone else's painting, no. still maybe it's not cheating. Who knows? <laughs> oh, I'm glad that lock tip helped people. Very helpful. Nice. So you're slowly kind of erasing away details and mm -hmm. adding them in. Nice. So what did you cover in your workshop? Because this is kind of similar, right? Mm, no, not at all. Oh, not at all. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, well, the first few steps mm -hmm. are similar. Okay. I just um, tell them about my favorite features, like uh, locking the layer mm -hmm. and how you can get a cool color palette by using Capture CC. Right. And after that, they just took off on their own and just painted their cute little characters. Aww. Yeah. And cool. I didn't show the, the um, overlay uh, part. Too advanced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although they probably would have been able to handle it. True. True. <laughs> uh, Nadir wants to know, have you ever tried to animate your characters? Um, no, <gasps> I don't think so. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> That's cool. Have you ever done animation in general? I did character design for animation, but mm -hmm. the actual animation work, I haven't. No. Yeah. No. That'd be cool. I think your work, even if it's just like a little animation, not the whole thing, but like a little uh, aspect of it is animated, that would be very cool. I did a true frame animation, like That's a little cute little gif. Yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't count. I think it counts. If there's more than one frame, <laughs> it's an animation. What about you in chat? Have you ever done animation? Let us know. I personally like adding animation just as a little extra step. But it's never anything complicated. <laughs> so I'm just carving out the uh, um, child. Oh, wait, that sounds really wrong. No, <laughs> I'm just defining the head <laughs> of the child. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> the child is not harmed in the making of this. Cute. I love the mother's face. She looks so sweet. Thanks. Mm-hmm. This looks like a piece of work I've seen before. Oh, show me. Mm. It reminds me of this, kind of. Oh, or like he has some Klim, stuff that's like mother yes, and child. That's uh, one of my favorite artists. There you that's go. A huge inspiration of mine. Yeah, this reminds me oh. of that. Yeah, I lo love love as well. Mm -hmm. Love it. Beautiful colors. So nice. Uh, Emma says, I'm currently animating a series of sketches using Illustrator Draw in After Effects. Ooh, cross platform and cross application. Love it. Never used After Effects before. Oh, it's a little, <laughs> a little intimidating. Yes, I have. And? I took a, like, um, animation for illustrators class uh -huh. and it was all about animating your illustrations in After Effects. It was tough. My brain exploded a couple times <laughs> and I don't really remember much of it, which is sad. Uh, Des is learning how to use Animate. That's a cool app too. Makes it a lot easier. Ishan says, I tried animating once and couldn't work my way around it. I guess I should just stick to casual painting. It's a lot to think about, Ishan. But I'm wondering what kind of animation you tried to do, because it can also be really simple, just two frames in Photoshop back and forth. So pretty. Nayan says this reminds him of The Song of the Sea. Have you seen that movie? Um, was it about uh, like the sel se seals? Selkies? Yeah, Celties or Celties. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen it. I'll I it's could great. see that, totally. Or like um, Secret of Kells. Looks like that, too. Mm. So cute. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'd like to hear what your inspiration is. Like, like you said, you love uh, Clint. Mm -hmm. Who else? What else? Uh, well, video games? Vi yeah, obviously video games. Mm -hmm. And um, so concept artist for... Uh, Final Fantasy games. Yes. Yoshitaka Amano. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. 
I've recently really been hooked to his work. Yeah. Do you have a favorite game from that series? Um, nine. Nine. Yeah. That's nice. My f first Final Fantasy game. Oh. Also my favorite. Yes. I love the character designs because they were mm -hmm. um, so stylized. I, yeah. I love stylized characters. Right. Mm. That's true. I my first Final Fantasy was Final Fantasy VII, and it's also my favorite. Oh. I feel like that first Final Fantasy game is yeah. always your favorite. <laughs> always has your heart. I um, love Moogles from Final Fantasy, oh, the little messengers. Yeah. Do, do you have plushies? Of I have <laughs> a. I have two. I have two Moogle plushies, and have a figurine, and I've cosplayed as a Moogle. So wow, I really amazing. like them. <laughs> they are my spirit animal. Yeah, Matthias, I am an FF nerd. There's <laughs> a lot of Final Fantasy nerds out there. It's okay. Have you tried the uh, online game? Yeah, 14, I think. Yeah, 14. Yes. I made a character. I played around a little bit. Final Fantasy games get to a point where they're, like, too hard. Too time-consuming. Yeah, and even. I'm like, I don't want to fight this boss, like, 300 times. I don't <laughs> care. I just like how cute my character is. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, and the most time is spent on cre character creation. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, that first <laughs> like At intro Effie. screen. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> and then you notice one little detail you don't like, then you go back and yep. do it the whole process New again. <laughs> oh man, any other nerds out there? What are you all nerds about? Let me know your nerd thumbs. Are you a nerd about anything else besides video games? Um. Or other video games? I like Pokemon. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> like playing the card game or the, the mobile game? The, uh, for DS and Game Boy. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. So does uh, Gus. Really? Gus Bot, oh. yes. Fight me. Yeah, fight me, please. <laughs> He's going to come out here and I'm going to leave and this will just be a Pokemon battle, <laughs> actually. <laughs> All right, Nayan is a PC gaming nerd. Cool. What games do you play, Nayan? like to know. He likes dark movies. Cool. But back to the art. <laughs> what are you doing now? Uh, I'm, as you can see, the shape isn't really realistic. It's very, um, what's the right word? Abstract almost? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Stylized. Stylized, abstract. Mm -hmm. and the shape isn't a real shape of mm -hmm. a woman. I no. just, um, it's just suggest the shape of her holding yeah. mm -hmm. child. You get, yeah, you can yeah. understand it. And within the shape, I like to create patterns. Ooh. Yeah. As you've already been, uh, can see, I'm a huge Klim fanboy. Yes, right, exactly. <laughs> it got, all makes sense now. Got busted now. now. <laughs> I busted you. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like that. So you said you don't play a lot of video games right now. Right now, I don't. Yeah. Do you play? Have you played Fortnite? No, I haven't. Okay, we can't talk about it, that then. That's the <laughs> new huge. Yeah, everyone's game obsessed right with now. it. Yeah, people in chat are talking about it. Fortnite. But yeah, I used to play League of Legends. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Low. Uh, no, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that literally <laughs> takes too much time. Yeah. That is your life. What's Fortnite about? Is it a shooter or what is it? Yeah, it's like everyone's trying to destroy each other. Oh, I see. I'm not interested, but it seems like a lot of people in chat are. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the rage these days. But I'm not, I'm not into the shooters. I'm into the, the RPGs, mm -hmm. the adventures. <laughs> uh, Maita says that he's a PC video game and music nerd. Awesome, that's a good combo. It is. And Percy is a pattern nerd. He likes patterns. That is obvious. Yeah, like I said before, this part takes a huge amount of time, so mm -hmm. I'm not going very much into detail right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Just very rough still. Mm -hmm. No, I like that though. It shows how quickly you can work. Right, and we'll be looking at a portfolio in about 10 minutes. So we've got about 10 more minutes of work time with Percy. If you have any more like workflow questions for him, feel free to ask. Oh, and one thing I yeah. also quite like about um, the mobile apps is mm -hmm. you can see your process if you tap on timeless. Yes. 
And you can also see um, my first try, which I didn't show on screen mm -hmm. on Mother's Day, which failed spectacularly. <laughs> Spectacular fail. <Yeah. laughs> It's I always fun this. to look back. Mm -hmm. I get annoyed with myself. Like I see how many times I change the mm -hmm. same thing over and over again. Yeah. Okay, so this is your first try. Yeah, it's similar to what mm -hmm. we've done today. Wow, I like it yeah, so a far. A lot of back and forth. Mm -hmm. I think it was the colors. I didn't like the mm -hmm. colors. So you're like, meh. <laughs> yeah. And then I kind of give up. Or mm -hmm. I think the day was over then. Yeah, yeah Mother Day like, was over. Yeah, you're like, not worth it. Yeah, but I think I'm going to finish this one after the stream. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I still got a bit of time working on it, right? Mm -hmm. um, does someone have questions? Yeah, please feel free to ask. Yeah, feel free to ask. Uh, Simon is wondering, do you try to add, um, like, a glitch or an accident into your work, like a distortion to your patterns? Do you a ever distortion? try and mess it up? Um, yeah, I, I did. Um, so after, when I'm finished, mm -hmm. sometimes I really don't like the composition. I just co copy the finished painting and put it on. So I duplicate it yeah. and then I switch it up a little bit and then just um, play with, our, mm -hmm. with the um, transformation tool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. So a little bit of distortion. Mm. That's awesome. But really distorted like a uh, computer glitch. Mm -hmm. No, that I haven't tried yet. Not yet. Well, it's a cool idea. I should mm -hmm. try. That is yeah. a cool idea. I think that would work well. Mm -hmm. It'd be a nice contrast mm -hmm. to your organic and color of your art. Um, do you use a filter on your iPad? I don't um, see you one. You mean a screen protractor? Yeah, like a paper-like, yeah. Oh, I had a matte screen protractor, mm -hmm. so the feeling was better. Yeah. But I um, I could see a little bit noise everywhere, so mm. I removed it. I mm -hmm. didn't like the change of quality right. on the screen. Yeah. But the feeling is nice. <laughs> right. I wish they could so do something in between. Mm -hmm. Right. Was it called paper-like or was it a different one? Uh, that was a different one. It's paper-like something new and more yeah, advanced. Yeah, I've used it before. I think if Rob Zilla comes back, maybe he'll show us. But it's you can see the color very well through it, but uh -huh. it, it just feels like you're drawing on paper. Oh. Paper-like. Okay. It's pretty good. Yeah. Ashan says, Percy's style of painting is unusually interesting. He adds paint that makes it seem like a mistake, but by the time he's done working on it, it's magic. Thank you. I agree. Like I said, it's, it seems very intuitive. Like you're not, you're not being too hard on yourself. You're just putting. putting yeah, marks I'm terrible at planning. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Let us know if you have any more questions. We'll be looking at a lucky portfolio in about seven minutes, five minutes. Who knows? And Percy will be giving some critique. Do you like critiquing work? Um, to a certain extent, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. But sometimes uh, the style is very different, so mm -hmm. I, I can't really give constructive criticism. Right. Because yeah. everyone has their own style, and um, I don't want to take it away because mm -hmm. it's not my um, forte. So yeah. yeah. Right. I get that totally. But it, you definitely can um, critique fundamental things like right. composition and right. lighting. Oh, that little guy's so cute. <laughs> Sleeping. Nayan says he likes your shirt. Thank you. It's a good one. Designed by Percy. I, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Someday. I, I could see your work being made into a pattern. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, you can make your own socks here, right? You can make your own socks. No. Literally right in front of us. So you use a template in the mobile apps, you draw some stuff, and then they'll print socks uh, for you. Have to try that today. I know, I'm like, after the stream, I'm mm -hmm. gonna walk over there and make some socks. <laughs> um, cool, oh yeah, Monica likes your shirt too. Everyone <laughs> likes the shirt. Thank you. Fan club. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know what you're all inspired by in chat. We know what Percy's inspired by. We've heard a couple things. Let me know what you all like. Is there anything not art related that you're inspired by? Like you said, video games, but maybe mm -hmm. like music. Oh, yeah, yeah you. books even. Um, music also very much when I, I listen to a song and 
um, it really evokes an emotion. Mm -hmm. I like to capture it mm -hmm. by doing an illustration. Yep. I think that really helps for um, creating interesting artwork if you write in the moment and you feel something and mm -hmm. you work is different even yeah. my mom can tell she's oh really <laughs> yeah she follows me on instagram Aww, too mom. <laughs> she's like this yeah. one's different yeah she said like, oh this is different what were you inspired by mm -hmm. yeah. music mm -hmm. she knows you so well <laughs> that's cool i like watching your work on this little monitor over here it's like a little thumb-sized image of it you can see yeah, the whole thing. It's great to zoom out sometimes mm -hmm. to really get the picture, get the whole composition. It yeah. really helps. Right. Do you ever do that and realize that the whole thing is like <laughs> off? <laughs> it happens way too often. Yes, pretty much every time. It's like, oh, maybe I shouldn't zoom out because I'll just have to start <laughs> over if I do. What's worse is uh, flipping it. Mm -hmm. That way you can see even more mistakes. Oh, no. Yeah, Chad, I don't know if you've ever done it, but if you flip your canvas horizontally mm -hmm. or over, yeah. <laughs> you can see some weird things. You can see how maybe the anatomy is wrong or angles are strange. Let's try it. <laughs> okay, let's do it, Percy. <laughs> this is your funeral. Oh, would we have to flip every single yeah, layer? You have. you can transform all layers. Up. Oh, perfect. Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Next time. Ooh, Ashan says that he is inspired by Bob Ross. <laughs> Do you know Bob Ross? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows Bob Ross. How could you not? <laughs> Ooh, Ronnie says hello from Belgium. Hello, Ronnie. Hello, Ronnie. Mm -hmm. Grand Freud is inspired by movies, lots and lots of movies. Mm -hmm. Well, he's seen a thousand three hundred movies since june 2010 wow that's, that's a lot. lot of movies how many is that per day who knows a lot yeah we, we can't do math mm. nope <laughs> like we already said this math is not a thing to me <laughs> uh kulan says do you think as a graphic designer uh that graphic designer should put their work oh no sorry starting over Mm -hmm. Do you think graphic designers should go to galleries to get inspiration from real paintings, even if they're not making paintings? Absolutely. Yeah, I get inspired by photographs and mm -hmm. graphic design. So, and it's the other way around, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it's, I think it's better than getting inspirations from illustrations because then I tend to be too stuck up on the idea or the painting I like. Yeah. Then mm -hmm. it will be uh, way too close. Yeah. So that's why it's very good to get inspiration from different sources. Yeah, totally different. Mm -hmm. And that's when you can make that new stuff that right. no one's ever seen before. Cool, so maybe we can look at your final work really mm -hmm. quick before we do the portfolio reviews. Yeah. Let's see how far you've come. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, you can see the concept, but if you zoom in, it's a mess. Uh, it needs cleaning, a lot of cleaning. Mm -hmm. But if you zoom out really far, then... You get the idea. Yeah, that could be finished. <laughs> it could be finished. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Right. That's really cool. Thanks for sharing all of your cool tips. Yeah, thanks for having yeah, me. I think Hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, so we're going to uh, look at our portfolio review, and we'll be back in just a second. So portfolio review, stick around. So then they play a little video. Cool. Back. So, welcome to space. I just saw that in, uh, animation. We are now in the space station, and we're going to be checking out one lucky person's portfolio. This is Fabio Sardo's portfolio. Yeah, speaking of space, the first two illustrations yes. fit perfectly. There you go. Intergalactic yeah. map. Where are we? I'm one of these planets. So, this is Fabio's uh, portfolio. And first, before looking at the work, let's look at what he says about himself. Right. Because that's important. We need to know who this person is. Uh, working in Milan, freelance illustrator. Kids and young adult mm -hmm. graphics, different genres, building new experiences. And if you'd like a commission, uh, feel free to get in touch. It's really awesome. fitting that he works for kids and young adult mm -hmm. illustrations. Yeah. Uh, that was also my first impression. I thought it's really great for yeah. 
a children book, for yeah, example. Yeah, kids lit. And then let's see what the contact page looks like. Awesome. So there is contact. Professional. So, yes. So this is a My Portfolio, which if you have a CC subscription, you have a free uh, portfolio website that you can use. And it's super beautiful, very well laid out. The first critique that I would put up is that it's really important to have your email address places. I know that there's a contact page. But some people get scared away from these contact forms. <laughs> they think it's it's not real. Um, it looks so formal. Yes, very formal. Like, mm -hmm. will this actually go to a person? Who knows? So it would be good to have your email address too, I think. All right, Percy. I'm going to let you take yeah, the wheel. Uh, cool. <laughs> so my eyes are really drawn towards this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to click on that right now. Well, I might need to really perfect. Push down, I mm -hmm. see. Oh, it's a board game. Ah, cool. The designs are great. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the color palette is really great. I love, um, you have this blue background with the pops of orange. Yes. It's, That's it's strong. It's very dynamic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. And <laughs> look at these aliens. They look very, like, I love this one. Looks mm -hmm. like a walrus. Yes. Yeah. They have mm -hmm. their own personality, mm -hmm. for sure. It's a board game, you said? Yeah, mm -hmm. it says that at the top. I'd like to know more. Like, yeah. maybe yeah. you could have some but words. Okay, uh, let's go through a few before oh, yeah. we get to critiquing. Cool. Oh, I really have to push down, <laughs> right? Yeah. Boop. Oh, let's look at this one. The lighting oh, yeah. is great, Let I can tell. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I think it's done digitally, but isn't really obvious. I really like that. Yeah, it could be colored pencil, yeah. watercolor. I love the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Even mm. the slight glow mm -hmm. around him is nice. Grayscale. Mm -hmm. I've never worked with grayscale because um, I find it difficult to turn grayscale into colors, but Fabio seems to be very good at mm -hmm. it. Mm. And the lighting here is very lovely, and the characters, of course. Mm. Little highlights. So, yeah, what I can critique on this one is um, everything is very centered. Uh -oh. So uh, the eye is directed towards these characters, which is great. Mm -hmm. But I would put the window um, maybe a little bit to the side to make the composition a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. Like maybe um, put it a little bit more to the right. Mm -hmm. Because you have the lighting um, also here on the back of his wing. Right. Yeah, it's a little confusing. Yeah. But overall, I think it's a great illustration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and these characters have lovely faces. Yeah, it's yeah. so beautifully rendered, and then it has such a simple little eyeball. And the use of texture is great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's as not. As you can see, it, it's um, it isn't very complicated in mm -mm. itself, but by adding textures, um, Fabio really created more dimension and more depth. Yeah, he really rendered it, even mm -hmm. though it's so cartoony. Nice. Oh, Ooh, that's the, the sketch. sketch, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is it an um, actual children book? Yeah, let's, I don't know. Fabio, oh, he's oh, no. cool. It's a Personal project. Personal project. Recently okay. became a children's ah, book. I see. Cool. Congrats. Nice. And what's up, Fabio? Thanks for being here. Wow. Okay. Let's take a look at some more. Let's do it. We've got about five more minutes. So which one would you like to look mm. at? I want to see. I think this might be character design. Mm, Let's okay. check out this gorilla. Monkey, Monkey business. business. Really dynamic pose. Mm -hmm. I can see you have fundamentals of character design down mm -hmm. because that's a big shape in contrast with his legs. It creates a very interesting silhouette. Mm -hmm. um, so I think this is a suitcase or some oh. brief uh, case. Yeah, I thought it might be a gun. But a, a gun? <laughs> I don't know. So uh, that's uh, not very clear. Maybe that's true. it should be a little bit defined. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, let us know what it is, Fabio. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
No, it, it's a uh, oh, briefcase. briefcase. Yeah, okay. We can see cool. it now. So I wonder if the top one is just a sketch. They look similar, but a little different. Um, yeah. Hmm. I like this one more because you can mm -hmm. clearly see what's definitely what <laughs> yeah. right. Like I was saying on the first project, it'd be awesome to just get a little bit of information about these projects, just to know uh, mm -hmm. the story. Mm. Is it a vector illustration? I believe it's a vector illustration. Right, I know. Yeah. It looks like it, like the brush around mm. it, the stroke looks like. The second should be a gift. Oh, Fabio okay. Says. Maybe we're just not seeing it. No. Maybe if you click on it, it might animate. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Nice. It all makes sense. So that's why we couldn't tell the hand, because the hand was being mm -hmm. pushed back. So another thing I would suggest is um, you got this outline right here in black, mm -hmm. but on the hand, um, I think it's also black, but because the contrast between white and black is so strong, mm -hmm. you can see this outline way more than the one you have on the hand. Right. So I would either make it um, thicker, the line on the hand, mm -hmm. or make this one a little bit lighter, so right. it's more cohesive in design. Totally. That's a good point. And the buttons may be also a little bit more pronounced. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a detail, but on the first glance, you... You don't see it. Yeah, it um, doesn't really read 100% buttons mm -hmm. to me, personally. Right, right. Yeah. Do we have time for one yeah, more? Yeah, let's look at one more. You pick. One more. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see this one. That's a cool-looking eye. Mm -hmm. Nice. You've really got that kind of blue and that orange combination. Mm. Yeah, the atmosphere looks very, mm -hmm. uh, like, on Mars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These little uh, aliens, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Looks like some of them are wearing shoes, little red shoes. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. I, I love the composition right here. Mm -hmm. Although everything is very central, you got the use of negative space. Mm -hmm. um, like, you have this huge silhouette of the giant alien, and then within it, the wide um, outline of the astronaut. Yeah. And then these cute little aliens to have yeah. kind of a hierarchy. Good hierarchy, for sure. Very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I can... Uh, maybe the stars. Th oh. I was done a little bit differently because everything is uh, very cartoony and oh. very bold and shapey. The stars seem a little bit, just a little bit out of line. Like they too realistic? A little bit too realistic. Mm -hmm. I would make more difference in sizes. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. They're still, they're well done, totally, yeah. but... Totally, but just critique on a very higher mm -hmm. level. Yeah, I think right that's now. the story with your whole portfolio is mm. and all of it is very well done and um, it's yeah. clear that you do good work, so these are very mm. large level, like you said, mm. high level critiques. So I'm not very... Um, good in typography so <laughs> I can't really tell you what yeah. the font should be like right I think it looks it looks pretty good yeah cool so we've got cool. one more minute so we're gonna one more minute we're gonna hop back to your iPad if we can my iPad yeah yeah but thank you so much Fabio that was great very impressed with your work um, thanks Fabio for yeah. showing us your work cool so this is the finished piece so far by Percy <laughs> yeah we're not really finished but yeah. the best we can do for this um, short amount of time we have. Right. Very nice. So thank you so much for being here with us. You got a lot done. Thanks for having me. Yeah, My totally. pleasure. And hopefully everyone was nice enough to you in the chat. Thank you everyone yeah. for being here. <laughs> Thanks we'll for be, tuning in. Yeah, totally. We'll be up next with Gavin and Christine in about five minutes. So stick around and we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye, everyone.